Hey, what's going on everybody? So this week I wanted to talk to you all about a few different camera handling techniques. This is going to include things like shaky cam handheld, it's going to be uh, gimbals, sliders, all sorts of stuff. And I'm going to show you examples of these different techniques um, in film, TV shows, that kind of thing. And I'm going to also demonstrate most of them for you. I don't have like a you know, big boom arm and stuff like that. But anything that I can demonstrate for you, I'm going to do so. So all that being said, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start off on a tripod. And obviously this is something everyone has seen. It just gives you a single stable point from which you can pan and tilt and follow your subject. Next, we're just going 100% handheld. I'm just going to do a nice smooth crouch walk next to him as we move along. And you can see a lot of up-down motion as well as left to right as I try to move around him here. In the front circle. Makes these types of shots very human feeling, but also can make you a little sick if you're watching it for a long time. So this is what's called a steady cam. It's got uh, weights at the bottom and you're supposed to match the weight on the bottom relative to your camera, whatever you're running on the top of it. It's got two separate axis plates here. Um, one moves front to back and one moves left to right. So basically what you do is hold it like this and I have already balanced this. If I hadn't, it would flop off to one side or the other. This is just on a bearing, a uh, very, very smooth bearing as is this, as is this. So this has three axes of movement. Um, the point of this is that it's going to actually absorb the motion as I move. So whereas you saw before, uh, just holding the camera, I was, I was, you know, doing a crouch walk and doing all that stuff and I've done a lot of that, so I'm okay at it, but this should smooth out a lot more of those bumps. So as you're moving forward, you're able to, your arm is able to move like this um, and you hold at the bottom like this. Um, this is going to give you your left to right movement here and also um, any up to down that you're doing and the handle here is going to absorb most of your motion. Um, so it's just a forward motion like this and you still do the crouch walk. So the crouch walk com combined with all of the motion of this handle um, and the balancing of the whole thing should take a lot of that motion out. So the test on this is if it's balanced, it doesn't flip itself over, and you can move it in and out like this, and it returns to a central position, you're pretty much good to go. So let me show you what it looks like. So a steady cam could be considered the middle ground between actually handheld and using an electronic solution. You can see that a lot of the motion from me moving is still in the shot but a lot of the smaller motion has been erased. If I got better with this, I could probably get rid of a lot of the side to side as well. Okay, so this is a gimbal. They make these on scales that are for uh, you know professional cameras as well. They make these absolutely colossal and that's what you'll stick at the end of a, a boom uh, for anything that's moving or even, even just uh, movie sets and stuff that are static. It's just a way of removing uh, like any extra jittery uh, sort of motion out of your video. Uh, I've got this set in full follow right now, so any way I move, it's going to also move very slowly, very smoothly. Should I record that so you can see what that looks like there? So this is full follow, so any way I move it, it's going to come with me just at a slow, smooth pace. So if I'm filming a worm on the ground and I'm walking behind it, this motion is not transferring to the camera. How I normally run this is going to be only pan follow, so it'll follow me on a pan like that, but um, up and down it's going to stay in exactly one position like this. Uh, this can also be in um, fixed position like this. Ah, hi! I made it mad. <laughs> I went too fast. <laughs> it's, not, uh, it's not properly balanced anymore. Um, but yeah, so you can go front to back like this, turn it, any of, <laughs> any of my motion like that. Um, so any of this motion, and it's going to stay fixated on one spot. 
So the gimbal is potentially the most smooth way to take any sort of video, whether it be on a car or on an aircraft or just being carried like I'm doing it right now. I'm actually running next to him right now and you can't see almost any of that motion translated into the camera. Some people say this looks a little too smooth and they like that human element, which is why they use the Steadicam instead. So you can see the major differences in those particular four methods there. I've got a few more to show you after this, but I just wanted to make a comment on these ones particularly because um, I use tripods all the time because I normally don't film with a cameraman. I got lucky uh, on this day and occasionally I'll have somebody who films with me. Uh, but generally I'm filming everything on tripods. That's a lot of setup. That's a lot more than just handing someone a camera and saying point this at me and you know, don't don't shake it around too much setting up tripods so you have to know where you are and uh, you know where you can't go where you're going to be out of frame and all that sort of stuff um, even your distance from the camera when you're going to be in and out of focus so uh, tripods are awesome even if you do have a cameraman if you only need pan and tilt then you don't actually need location to location motion now in those other three shots, we obviously wanted to follow Jesse around on the skateboard, so that's where those other three methods came in. Handheld always looks just the most, I guess, I guess engaged in the scene. Like, you're, you're part of the scene because the camera's losing its mind. A lot of people, like, actually will get sick off of these kind of kinds of movies. Movies like the Bourne movies, I don't know if there's three or four, however many, um, those are kind of notorious for that handheld kind of action and any other of the sort of found footage kind of movies that you're gonna f see like uh, you know Blair Witch Project or Cloverfield or the you know anything anything where it just looks like someone happened to be recording the entire movie on their phone or a series of phones or anything like that all that's gonna be that real shaky kind of handheld and it does give your filming something unique and if you want to take a lot of that like crazy motion out but you kind of want it to feel like a person is definitely still holding that camera that's where that steady cam comes in handy um, it's really fast you can snap left and right as fast as you want um, you can snap up and down in any direction it's it's a lot more controllable than the gimbal the gimbal is beautifully smooth and if you just want really nice uh, pan shots just just really smooth follow anything like that the gimbal is going to be awesome and I'm sure that you can get gimbals that have faster motors in them but your entire motion is dependent on the speed of that motor and the accuracy of that motor. Whereas the Steadicam, you can just point it wherever you want and keep that motion relatively smooth compared to just handheld. And of course, we've got these beautiful shots where you can hold a camera and then suddenly a bird takes it. Ah! <laughs> of course, we are talking about drones. Used to be, if you wanted an aerial shot, you'd either have to do it from a crane or you'd have to do it from a helicopter. Obviously, everyone's seen a drone by this point, and they are pretty darn awesome. They allow you not only to move in ways that people normally can't, but also go places that people couldn't either. Any of these shots over the water, four, I would have had to have done on a boat or something like that, which would disturb the water around me. Although my drone doesn't have gimbal stabilization, a lot of them do, and it makes for extremely smooth aerial shots. So lastly here, we have got a slider. Now a slider is just the miniaturized version of a dolly system. And dollies are used in just about every single movie and show that's probably ever been made um, that had any sort of uh, tracking shots or even um, slow pass dolly shots. Um, this is an example of a dolly shot right here. If the subject stays still, the camera moves past it like that. And uh, a tracking shot would just be if the, uh, if the camera being on rails followed a subject from point to point to point. The point of the rails is stability and ease of motion. So I'm using one finger here just kind of move this. So when you look at this shot, it's going to be extremely smooth left to right. Um, if you do a, oops, if you combine that with a pan, then you get something that looks like this.
Now they make these in electronic variants as well with a belt on the inside that will move the actual dolly piece left and right. A lot of the movie size ones are uh, electronic these days, especially since they have to move extraordinarily fast. So that's about it for those techniques. Now just keep in mind there are tons of techniques that we did not cover at all. You can combine a lot of them together. You could throw cameras on vehicles, booms in the mix, all sorts of stuff. You can put a gimbal on a boom on a vehicle on a track, you know, whatever. <laughs> so there's a lot that you can do to make your filming look unique. So don't forget, you can't only stick to the handheld or the tripod. Try some new stuff out there. There's a lot of options available. So thank you very much for checking out this video. I appreciate all the support I've been receiving. Hit the, uh, you know, subs and bells and all that junk if you want to see these come out. They come out every two weeks. It's a different topic every time. It's just whatever I happen to be working on. Sometimes it's a repair. Sometimes it's camera stuff. I don't know. We shall see in the future. Um, I, I have a repair of my headphones coming up. So if that's interesting to somebody. Anyway, thanks once again for coming by. Have a good one. He's dead. We, we done killed him. <laughs> Jeff.